Yes, so Vortex here and welcome to my review of a Bluetooth 5.2 adapter. It's got a QCC, well the Qualcomm 3040 uh, chipset and uh, does Aptex Adaptive, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this because that's obviously a newer codec and it's quite flexible because it's kind of a mixture between Aptex HD and low latency. Um, it's also a higher bit rate than normal Aptex, so yeah, I wanted to try this, and as usual, full disclaimer is I bought this from AliExpress myself. I was not paid to this video, and all thoughts and opinions are my own. And yeah, let's just see what we get. So it's very straightforward. Pull the tab down, open up. Obviously, they've used like a generic kind of packaging that's used for other stuff as well. So obviously it's very small, it's obviously USB size. There is the LED, which I'll uh, talk about when I get to the listing. There's a bit of text on the top. So it says Aptex HD, Adaptive Low Latency. Nothing on the back. And there's some paperwork here, unless you speak Chinese, it's pretty much useless. Again, I'll talk about it further on. So that's the brand, and that's the one that also comes up in Windows um, 10 on Windows 7 as well, which I've tried in. Um, that's the model. Frequency, obviously protocols. I've tried it with adaptive and HD. I don't have anything low latency and I didn't try SBC. Operating systems, I tried it with the PS4, works fine. Main testing is done with a Windows 7 laptop and a Windows 10 PC. Um, not sure really what it says. I guess that probably means the LEDs are done, that's it. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you what it looks like in Windows 10, the settings it comes up with. Um, and then I'll run over the actual listing, because the listing is in English, so it's quite useful. And yeah, and then just my thoughts and opinions, really. Yeah, so this is what it looks like in Windows 10. Windows 7 as well, I've tried in, is like the same. So, but if I use Windows 10, it's just easier for me to capture. So you plug it in and it just fine, it works. You don't need any additional drivers from my experience. Pl say plug and play, Windows 10, 7 and on PS4. This is the make here, the Heizen Keiji. Sorry if I've pronounced that wrong, but that's what it comes up as. So click properties, uh, levels. I always recommend you to turn it down to like 20, 25 and then turn it up to, you know, whatever really what you need to do enhancements i always turn them off less you can get wi less windows can screw with the sound the better to be honest advanced um seats locked at 16 48 hertz now i think um it's supposed to be able to do 24 bit 96 kilohertz if i am mistaken that's what this chipset is capable of but the limits of this same on Windows 7 is 16 bit 48 hertz, which is enough to be honest for what it, you know what it costs. So close that. And in the recording tab, it appears here as well. Ignore this one because that's what I'm speaking with, but it's on the top. So click properties, levels. You can change that to how you want. I didn't really try it for microphone use, I only wanted it to try it with actual headphones and as a transmitter, to be honest. Uh, advanced it's locked obviously one channel 16 bit 16,000 Hertz which is kind of low but uh, I didn't try it for that so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go for the actual listing of the actual item on Ali Aliexpress because it goes into more detail and plus it's in English so I can understand it so yeah next clip is the actual um, yeah the listing so this is the actual store I got it off on uh, Aliexpress obviously the 144 orders so it's not too bad obviously that's it blown up information here which i'm gonna it's, it's on the page anyway so i'll just uh go to it so it uses 5.2 uh i did try this with three things one the uh, edifier tws1 pro which is bluetooth 5.2 which i wanted and is aptex adaptive um i'll explain how that works in the obviously in the next clip I tried it with the Philips Fidelio L3s, which is Aptex uh, HD. And I tried it with the Bang & Olufsen BO Play H10s, which is uh, Aptex Adaptive as well. Again, I'll talk about the next clip. It's also very easy to pair. Um, 
yeah, I'll get to that in a bit. So the model is KB8, 15 meter distance. I had no issues with distance. There's the protocols. Uh, obviously, I've tried it with uh, Aptex um, Adaptive. I didn't try it with base Aptex. I tried it with Aptex Adaptive and Aptex HD. I didn't try it with SBC or low to low. I don't have nothing low latency. And I wish he had AAC would have been useful, but it doesn't. So that's it. That's what you can work it with, allegedly. I've tried it with a PS4 um, and a Windows 10 PC and a Windows 7 uh, notebook. Fine. Obviously, this is what it transmits to, which I've used true wireless earbuds and two Bluetooth headphones, which is what it's the point, really. Um, my edifiers of Bluetooth 5.2 and the other models of Bluetooth 5.1. Again, like it should. Now, matching, which is pairing, it'll flash blue and red. When it matches, it's, well, when it pairs, it's blue. Now, the key thing is here. Now, I've tried it with Aptex Adaptive, and it does say red. And I've tried it with Aptex HD, which is green. I didn't try the others, like I said. But it does pair like it's supposed to. And it tells you about, you know, if you're on a connect to something else the information's there it's very straightforward um and that's it so yeah next clip i'll just kind of be my conclusion and just my thoughts and opinions really so yeah so on to kind of my experience really uh start with pairing very easy very straightforward you just start pairing your device and it will connect to it straight away uh also it's weird not using like a ui so like when you can maybe pair like this to your phone for example you do it in the phone it's, you know you see what's happening uh on that you don't you, you instead of like going through the computer to pair um you're going th just straight to the device so as soon as you put that into pairing mode it will connect to that so bear that in mind so yeah this is the 85 tws1 pros these are Bluetooth 5.2 and Aptex Adaptive. So between these two, it's like a perfect match and it works perfect. So latency, I've tried this with some fun gaming, like light gaming, um, but mainly I want to try it with things with speech. So I watched a couple of episodes of Peacemaker, if you know what that is, um, and I was watching for like uh, lip sync and it was perfect for what I could see. Which is good to see, and the and natural signal strength was perfect. I went in this next room while it was playing, and it didn't drop once. So it did exactly as it said it did, and it was happy. And obviously, it did light up red like it's supposed to, because it will it will go to the highest codec of the device. So obviously, this supports Aptex as well and AAC and SBC, but it went to the highest, which is adaptive. Again, as it did exactly did, and it sounds good obviously you saw in windows it was limited to 16 bit 48 but to be honest that's enough from something that costs i think 15 pound or might have been slightly under so it wasn't too much um so next item obviously these it's again expensive but he's a good enough test the bang and obviously bo play h10s latest firmware as well and these are bluetooth 5.1 so quite close, but these are Aptex Adaptive. Very easy to pair, but one thing I noticed with the same device, strangely, is it seemed to struggle with connection. Like when you first pair it, it seems like it struggled. I don't, I don't know why, then it settled and then it struggled. Now I thought this would have paired better than True Wireless because this is one device instead of two devices trying to connect to that, like, you know, both sides, but yeah, strange, but it did connect red as adaptive and it did work like it's supposed to, apart from when it dropped. So that's one thing to bear in mind, especially with those. But there's a lot of there's a lot of headphones out there, so bear in mind. And then my last test subject is this one. These are the Philips Fidelio L3s. Again, latest um, firmware. And these are Aptex HD, so the bit rate's higher. Um, and it did pair, it, this did go green like it's supposed to. Again, super easy pairing, it worked like it should. Um, latency is obviously more with this. You can sometimes see a gap, but sometimes I, I tried it with Twitch through Chrome and it seemed like there's no latency, so it's kind of odd. 
But all the, when I tried it with the video files, you could see um, there's a slight delay. So there's, but for music consumption, it's perfectly fine because that doesn't matter. But with while well, I tried it with the, if you lip sync in with something, you'll see it's slightly out. But again, really good connection. I went in the next room with music playing, solid performance. So I was actually quite happy with that. And yeah, obviously there's a lot of earphones and models out there. But uh, I, I only try, really tried it with those three because they're the ones I, went, I wanted to try it with. Because I bought this to get Aptex Adaptive. That's the point. For like casual gaming or to watch uh, media consumption without wires because wires suck sometimes. You know, you want to just sit back and relax. And yeah, I do like it. It works like it's supposed to. You know, it's negatives mm, not much a thing really that like there's no iac support and there's no ldac but again the chips are the chipsets not for that it's the 3040 chipset so i think it's the exact same chip that's in the edifiers i think um yeah so no iac i didn't try it for calls if I do, I will update the description of the video, but I only want it to act as a transmitter from this to headphones or earphones, and that's it. I didn't try it with calls or anything like that, so I want to try it just for that purpose, and that's why I bought it. I'm trying to think of any more cons, really. I don't think there's anything else. It, it paired with everything like it's supposed to. The signal strength seems good. If I could go from one room, a hallway, and then into another room without it dropping that's that's quite sufficient really um pairing again like i said is fine there's no ui not much to say really it just what it says obviously you saw in windows you saw what he actually came up as is that actual that that brand um yeah again ps4 as well works fine meant to work with the ps5 i can't test that it's meant to work with the otg I'd have an OTG cable, so I can't test it. But yeah, I'm on, I'm happy. If there's anything in particular you want to know, as usual, let me know in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching.